Right, first job um, is to get rid of all the pences and turn all the units that we're paying for into pounds. So 12 pence, um, write that in pounds, so that would be 0 0.12 pounds. No other pence units in this question, so that's the only time that we have to do that. Um, now we need to work out how many units we have used. Seven nine two minus seven five four six. So it's two hundred and forty six units of electricity used. Now each of those units is costing us twelve pence. So in order to work out the cost, the total cost of the units, we have to do two hundred and forty six lots of twelve pence. So that's going to be £29.52. In this question, once we've worked out the total cost of the units, um, we're then going to add on to that and so on. The fixed charge in this question is just a flat rate of £22.25. So in order to work out the total cost of the gas, we have to add that onto the cost of the units. So cost of gas will be £29.52 plus the £22.25 fixed charge. So the total bill for this particular question is going to be £51.77. OK, let's move on to the next question. Um, and with this question, there's a little bit more work to do. First of all, do exactly the same thing. Look for any pences and turn them into pounds. So in this question, we've got 6.52 pence. Turning that into pounds, well, six pence would be 0 0.06. So 6.52 pence would be 0 0.0652. The first part of this question is identical to the previous question. We work out the number of units used by subtracting the two meter readings. Five four two six one minus five two eight one five. So that's one thousand four hundred and forty six units. Um, so the cost of the units this time is going to be the number of units we've used multiplied by the cost per unit. So total cost of units. Will be one four four six times zero point zero six five two, and remember the answer is going to be in pounds. Okay, so that's ninety four point two seven nine two. Because we're in pounds, we round that off to two decimal places. Two decimal places. But when we round, we look at the next decimal um, digit, and if it's five or above, that means that that's actually going to be closer to £94.28. So when we write that on our answer, we would write £94.28. So that's the total cost of the units. Now we look at the additional charges that are going to be included. And again, with this question, it's just a flat service charge of £10.56. So the total cost of the electricity will be the £94.28 for the units that we've used, 
plus the service charge of £10.56. So we're now going to add £94.28 and £10.56 to get £104.84. Now in this particular question we've got VAT to add on to that as well. Um, so VAT is 5%. 5% write it as a decimal. You should know that 5% is the same as writing 5 pence in pounds. So that would be 0 0.05. Multiply that by the cost of our bill which is £104.84. And that will tell us how much we've got to add on to our um, bill. So that's going to be £5.24. So for this particular question, the total cost of the bill will be £104.84 plus the £5.24 for the VAT. giving us a total bill of 110 pound and 8 pence.